everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here. Sorry about the wind, but this time we have to be outside. Um, we got a problem with one of these lug, lug nuts here. Problem is, they got these caps on them. We call them acorn caps. Just a chrome cap that goes on top of the actual nut. And if you don't, you know, I mean, if you take them off quite a bit, they just start rounding off. I got four of them off. This one I'm going to show you how to get off. That cap is spinning inside there. So stick around and I'll show you how to take that off of there. Okay guys, so again, sorry about the wind. It was raining a little bit ago. Now I had this one here. Now you will scuff your your rim up. There's nothing you can do about it. Uh, you can go buy them special nuts that are made for this. They will scuff your wheels up too. I'm not using one of them. I'm using everyday tools such as a chisel. Try to get the smallest one you can and a hammer and you might need a punch and I'll show you why here in just a minute. Maybe even a pair of vice grips, pliers. If you're really strong, you can use pliers. So I'll show you what it looks like, what you're going to have to do. See, there's, there's the actual lug nut right inside there. So you got to peel this back kind of like a banana so you can get a socket on there so you can get onto some steel this ain't well it's metal it's not steel so that's what you have that's why it'll kind of you're gonna nick your wheel up but there's nothing you can do about it uh, sometimes if you take your time and go real easy but we're talking several hours worth of work not to scuff this wheel you can get them sometimes but most of the time you're going to scuff your wheel. I kind of missed and got a little ding down here in this Chevy. I think I did that. Might not have. Who knows? This one, just start in the center. Make you a hole like that. See that hole right there? Spread it out. This is where we're going to take this and we're going to try to get something out here where we can grab a hold of it and kind of start peeling it back and this is what you're going to do and then you're going to want to cut down the side sometimes if you get a cut down the side, you can peel the whole thing out, which is good. But this one will not because it kind of mushrooms around, kind of mushrooms around that. Just spinning inside there. So. And it kind of sucks because these wheels are in excellent shape for being almost 13 years old. You know, and you're just going to want to kind of peel that out of there. Now, let's try to get this one peeled up. Yeah, sometimes if you can get a hold of them, sometimes they'll pull out, but most of the time they won't. So that's when you got to get in here and be real easy. And try not to get on, you know, the ridge part. Try not to get on the pointy part here. Because that's what you're going to grab onto. Try to get onto the flat spot of that nut. I've seen guys using those... Uh, see, I just dinged that up there. 
is my chisel. This is the smallest cutting chisel I've got. But I've seen guys use those damn those sockets and stuff that's made for these. Now I've seen them. They'll put a wheel on. They'll intentionally, you know, they'll say, look, this works fine, but what if this happens? And they'll intentionally strip it out. And of course, it'll take it right out. Well, it was just off 10 seconds ago. These have been on there I don't know how long. They get moisture inside of here, and you know, they can rust up real good. So, you know, it's it's not a it's not a fair review for us. Um, I had a set of them one time, I used them once, and uh, it, it didn't work. So I ended up doing what I'm doing now. It's been a few years ago, maybe they've perfected them now, I don't know. Wow, a piece of limb almost hit me. Maybe they perfected them better, I don't know, but I mean, and I did what they did. I intentionally, I intentionally stripped one out, and yeah, it brought it right out, but I just had the damn thing off, you know? I seen a guy take a lug nut off and kind of ground it till it was almost round and put it back on. Well, first of all, you can't get it back on tight enough if it's almost round because it's stripped. Second of all, you could have probably done it with a pair of pliers and he used and says, see, look how easy that is. Look how that works. Yeah, it was just off 10 seconds ago. These ain't, ain't been off, I know, since we've had the damn car. I know one of them was loose. Right after we got it, we took it to Homosassa, Florida, to go camp, and I noticed one of them was loose. That's when I noticed my... Uh, my tire tool wouldn't fit none of these. None of them would fit these. So we just ran into the local tire shop and said, look, man, can you get this tightened for me? And it turned out there was three of them loose. And he tightened them up. I think he used a 23 on them. And he said, now, you know, I'll, I'll get them tight for you, but I don't want to put them up to spec because, you know, you might not ever get them off. I said, that's fine. And they've been fine ever since. I mean, they, they haven't come loose. But I just thought today... You know, while monkey's recovering, I'll get I'll get on here and get these off here. See if I got some lug nuts that'll fit it. And uh, that way, if we do have a flat, I know I can get it off of there. You know what I mean? Because I know we're gonna have to. She'll have to do a follow-up. She's got to go. She'll have to go back down to Orlando again. I don't want to. You never know. You run over something on the road. You get a flat. I'd never. Be, I wouldn't be able to get this off here. And we didn't have the money to get a tow or to have a service truck come out. You know. And that kind of always sucks having to pay for something that you can do yourself at home, but you just didn't have the tools. So. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to get this off alongside the road. So it kind of, you know, worried me the whole time we were gone. If we get a flat, and if, if we do, it'd probably be this one, you know, knowing, knowing the luck people have. Okay, so I've got this down here a good ways. You're going to want to get your socket on there as far as you can get it so it doesn't strip out more. But nine times out of ten, this will work. If they're rusted on real bad, I have cut them out with torches. Because uh, these magnesium wheels, you can do that. It kind of discolors it. Sometimes it'll ruin the wheel. But you have to do what you have to do. And if it's a customer's car, you have to let them know, look, you know, I may screw your wheel up and I can't be held responsible for it, you know. I know it looks like I'm putting that on wrong, but it's two different sizes, see? Alright, so now we're going to put our little thing in there. Alright, let me back you out. Let me back you out a little bit here. Now let's see if we can get this off of here. Watch your hands don't get down here. I almost did that on the first one I took off. So there it is. A little bit of time spend you spend more time than I did you won't screw your wheels up as bad as I did but once the sinks cleaned up <laughs> going down the road 
no one is going to know it anyway so all right now i gotta find some lug nuts i also want to check some stuff out while i'm here this thing's acting funny that's another video though stick around so this big box of lug nuts i should find one in there i need right yeah i thought the same thing nope but i got an idea okay here's my idea i don't know why them smaller out on the outside than on the inside i thought they were stripped but they're not now i see someone has used anisees on this which is great i'm going to use grease but i'm not going to use penetrating oil like i'm not going to use wd-40 because after a while guys that stuff let's be honest it evaporates so i'm going to put a little bit of grease on here now i've got two of these and I remembered, I just happened to remember that guy that tightened these wheels for us grabbed us, grabbed me a couple of these and said, that's all I can find that I can give you. But there's two for you because there was two that were worse than the other ones. I said, oh man, I appreciate it. Didn't charge us a dime. Yeah, you know, I was figuring, you know, 20, 25 bucks I'd give him. But he said, no, no, just, just take those. He said, not a problem. Uh, so what I think I'm going to do I'm going to take three of these I'm going to put on here I'm going to get my cutoff wheel and I'm going to kind of score this down through here down the side and I'm going to peel that away so I can end up with my nut my regular steel nut so that's what I'm going to do so let me get you set up for that and then uh I'll show you how yeah it's just like I said I'm just gonna just gonna make a slice right up through here try not to get in the metal of course as much as possible I'm just gonna or the steel um, I may even be able to just to go around here and that'll slide off let me see what I can do and I'll, I'll I'll show you how I end up deciding to do it in case you have to do this too okay guys this is what I'm gonna do I started grinding there I don't want to use a cutting wheel if I don't have to, so I'm going to try to grind this a little bit to where I can get a slice in it and cut that off of there. Alright. I got a couple I can mess with, so if I screw something up, I'm not real worried about it. Yeah, it looks like it's going to work. And then I'm just going to peel that, peel that around there. And then I can slide this cap off of here. Let's see if I can get a cut on it here. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to work. I have to get a pair of gloves. I keep hitting my finger. Yeah, okay. So... bugs out here there we go there we go it's starting to come around now yeah see that there probably do it in a vise but I figured I just do it out here on the car. Yeah, that's exactly. That'll work. I 
Next time I'll go that way with it. So that way it tightens up more. Alright. There we go. Just start ripping it. Yeah, that'll work. There we go. All right. Hot out here. All right. So I'm going to keep peeling on this. And then uh, I'll bring you back. There it goes, right there. There it is. That's what they do. Because they want them to look pretty, but that's a cheap way of doing it. Alright, guys. Now, see, that's way too big now. Now we can use our regular one, which is uh, 13 sixteenths. Like that. Don't worry about if you're doing this. Let me show you here. Don't worry about if you get this ground down a little bit too far. That little ridge. That ridge ain't what holds your wheel on. This does. This ridge just holds a stupid cap on. So I'm going to do the other ones. And, uh, Oh, man. I think I'm getting cold. I'm going to do the other ones, and I'll be back with you when we put the wheel on. Okay, we're getting ready to put the wheel on. I just got some uh, high temperature bearing grease here. I'm going to put some on here on each one. Like I said, guys, you know, if you're doing this for a customer, uh, a lot of times it's cheaper for them just to go ahead and, you know, cut that wheel off or whatever you got to do because. By the time you spend three and four hours at over a hundred dollars an hour for labor to save that one wheel, you know, unless it's something really rare and you really want to, but it's like, you know, what can you buy a wheel for? You know what I mean? So it's like you tell them, look, I can do that for you, but it's just going to cost more, you know, more than what the wheel's worth to try to save it. Same here. I'm not going to, even though it's mine, I'm not going to spend four or five hours try to try not to scuff this wheel up. I can buy this wheel for, what, 150 bucks? New? Right. <laughs> Camera's in my way, guys. So, yeah, just, uh... You know, where do you stop on it, you know? Especially a lot of times, the wheel's already scuffed up and ruined like that because the other person trying to get them off, you know? <laughs> now these two gold ones here, they're uh, a different size, but I got both sizes in the truck, so I won't have an issue if I have a flat now, you know. Uh, and these are just going to run till, till I can get the money to put new lug nuts on here. Did I not do enough? Oh, that's right. I got six on here, not five. All right. Well, okay. I'm going to go ahead and do another one. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> I'll be back with you guys. I was thinking I had five. That's right. This is a six wheel lug. Hang on. Six lug wheel. All right, we're back. 
Now let's get our wheel tightened up. Very nice. So this, just flip this around. I know they're ugly, but what are you gonna do, you know, when this is all you got right now? You don't have money to get, you know, to get uh, to get what you need. Sometimes you gotta reuse. I'm just gonna pack a little bit of that in there since this is in the open elements. It's just temporary, guys. Yeah, you know what they say about that. The most permanent thing is temporary. Which kind of is true, but yeah, I uh, I will get new lug nuts for it. I'll probably, you know what I'm going to do? I'll probably get, let's see, I need 24 of them, so I'll probably just get them all, just get a kit, and I'll make sure they're not the caps. I will make sure they're just regular steel lug nuts. You know, I'm sure they'll be chrome. But I'm not putting these caps back on here. Just ain't gonna do that. So that way it keeps a little bit out. I'll wipe the excess off. See these wheels are coated, so I mean I can probably maybe take these off sometime and really buff that out some more. But I'm not I'm not gonna worry about it. It's it's an everyday driver. We're not restoring this car. Yeah, I want it to look as nice as I can for her, but at the same time, again, where do you stop, you know? Where do you stop on something like this? It's just, uh, yeah, it's just one of them things. You got to stop somewhere. I mean, is it an everyday driver, or do you want to keep it pristine all its life or all your life well yeah you want to but at the same time if it's going to be your everyday driver that's not going to happen you can keep it in decent shape and i do i keep our vehicles up but you know at the same time you can't make it you're not going you're not going to make it look like brand new all its life especially when you started with a used car we got lucky it's one owner but it does have some issues like well shoot i took this wheel off <laughs> to check the axle and everything and uh okay well i'll just i'll do that tomorrow that's another day but uh it kind of you know how the older four-wheel drives when you kick them in four-wheel drive and you make a turn like a sharp left or right turn you feel it don't 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 and if you're on new pavement you'll hear it squealing like that that's kind of what it's doing it's not supposed to do that it is a four-wheel drive but it's all-wheel drive so um yeah like like right now this car is in park but as you can see i can still turn this wheel and i hear something up front there but it's just a weird thing uh, I'm not too concerned about it because it is all-wheel drive you know if anything I can pull this rear drive shaft and run front-wheel drive around here if I have to that's not an issue guys have done that for years so I went on to a couple forums and there were some guys said some couple guys said yeah me too I've, I've been running for a couple years like that until I can get the money to buy the the rear end because if this needs anything more than a couple axles i'm not going to rebuild that rear end i can buy the whole differential axles and everything for 500 bucks with a year warranty i'll go that route but yeah that looks doesn't look as pretty but right now i don't care it's functional and i don't have to worry about you know getting flat and 
you know she just had an operation she'd be sitting in this car you know for however many hours and then like i said we didn't ha have the money to call somebody anyway i don't know what we would have done <laughs> you know get a ride home and get the tools i needed because i pretty much knew what i needed to to take this off with so yeah. all right guys anyway that's how you get those your lug nuts off that have the cap now i'm going to throw these they saved the the better ones in case i need to you know uh stuff too yeah so i saved these two the worst ones the ones i took the caps off of so i saved these two i'll put them in the glove box that way if i need them i got them but i don't think i will until i get new lug nuts for her. like i said i'll just get 24 put them all on at the same time i don't even have to jack it up you take one off at a time and put it back on take another one off put it back on you don't have to jack these up so all right so that's that's how you remember the ones with the caps now if you got a regular steel lug nut that's stripped you know you're going to have to heat and use torches on it you probably will ruin the wheel uh, but there's nothing you can do about it uh, usually what you do then is start in the center with your torch um, also what you can do if you have open ones like these ones are you can drill into the center and keep going bigger and bigger with your drill bit drill that out that that works a lot of times nine times out of ten but if you know so like a regular lug nut but if you have one of these you may have to torch if you have one of these that's not the cap that's a regular steel one i'll tell you what i've done before if they're sticking out you can grind this off flat and you'll see you'll see the center and you can you know because you can't it's hard to center punch that when it's rounded like that and get your drill bit straight but if you grind it off flat and center punch it you can do the same thing got to take your time because if you get it off crooked you, you could be screwed and then you will have to use torches but if you don't have torches i don't and i did it so yeah that's that's for the caps so there you go guys appreciate you watching shea bear the myth the man legend I'm gone for now thanks for all the well wishes for monkey she's doing fine she's still in her recuperating um she's a little sore but her initial pain the reason why she had that done is gone all gone she can move her arms and everything so she's feeling pretty good today so all right guys i'm gonna get my mess cleaned up here i'll see you in the next one we'll see you soon shea bear to myth the man legend bye bye guys and take care